Hey, it's Sentoku, and we're going to play this game, Traveler's Rest. This game has been in early access for a while. Uh, it's been over a year since I've played it, according to Steam. So I'm curious to see what's new with it. The big update came out today that added a bunch of stuff, including parrots, a bunch of new areas of the world, the first NPC, achievements, a new UI, and a bunch of other stuff. So I thought I'd jump in and give it a try. We'll just make a new file here. Yeah, we'll call it some token. Uh, let's call our place the YouTubes. So basically, I was gonna let's randomize it. That's kind of cool. He looks kind of modern. The idea behind this game is that you are running this in, and you have to serve the customers, and then you also have to like make all of the beer, grow your own vegetables, and make your own food to serve to them, stuff like that. Would you like to activate the tutorial? Since it's been so long, I'm going to go with yes. Welcome to Traveler's Rest. This game is currently in early access, which means it's still being developed based on your feedback. We're currently redrawing all of the artwork, so you'll find some elements of the game with a different art style than the rest. This will be fixed in the next updates. Blah, blah, blah. If you like it, leave a review. WADS to move. Left shift to run. B to enter decoration mode. Okay. I want to... I thought you were giving me a tutorial. Okay. While in decoration mode, you can place items, select an item. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still sick, by the way. Uh, notice the cursor over it, and press the left mouse button for E. Try selecting the table. <clears throat> oh, man, so much, so much mucus. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Move it with the mouse and press E to place it. Okay. Customers need a place to sit, place the benches so they can face the table. Uh, rotate an item by pressing R, blah, blah, blah. Q to add to your inventory. I'm actually going to put it back here so that there's a bit more space. And we're going to rotate that in like that. Customers will also expect their table to be well lit in the evenings. Try placing a candle on the table. Ta candles are consumed over the course of days, so you'll need to replace them in the future. Okay. Let me actually move it closer to the bar. Oh, I can't go right up to the bar. I'm just thinking, because I'm going to have to walk out from behind this counter to pick up their plates and stuff. Okay, exit decoration mode. Get closer to the book at the bar and press E to open your stock. Okay, you can do that. Oh, I have to exit decoration mode first. Get close to the book, open. Storing food here, well, add it to your bar stock. While your bar is in stock, you will serve gruel. Gruel only rewards a small amount of money and reputation. Okay. Press O to open the tavern and serve some gruel. Remember to exit decoration mode. Press O. Do I have any beer yet? No, nothing's left out. I'm just going to serve some gruel. If you have a quest, press H to view it serve six customers okay I can do that probably they're gonna just come in I guess we're gonna add I'm not in decoration mode do I have to like add gruel to my book I don't think so there they are okay let me serve you some gruel A customer has requested an item Move close to the customer and press E to serve them. Remember the decoration mode must be deactivated. Yes, thanks for telling me that three times. I'm sure I will forget at some point. So yeah, I just thought I would try this game out again. Just to see what's new. I wish I'd been a farmer like my dad. Customer requested an item, blah blah blah. Okay, we did that. Uh, sometimes they sit at the table and then they go get food. Serve six customers, nice. Close up your tavern so you can place your new items. Call last orders by pressing O. This will prevent new customers from entering your tavern. Press O again to force your tavern to close, but you'll lose reputation instead. Wait for customers to leave. Okay. What was I saying? Yeah, I. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be like a regular series that I'm going to start. Wow, look at the nose on my guy. But uh, I thought I'd try it out, and then if people like it, then I can make it into a series. So if this looks cool to you let me know in the comments if not i can go back to just playing like 
Core Keeper, stuff like that. Set up a table using your new items. Enter decoration mode. Select it with the mouse wheel down, mouse wheel up, and press F. Why do I have to press F? Okay, enter decoration mode. Select my table, press F. Oh, to pull it out of my inventory, I press F, I guess. Uh, let's put this like kind of over here. And we'll put uh, chairs like this. Rotate those around. Okay. I did it. Oh, they want me to put a candle on it. Okay. Give me that. Yeah, this would be hard to play on a console just because of all the buttons that you have to press. Um, set up a table using new items. Okay, I did everything. Do you guys want me to like open a new rest? Open uh, another day or are we good? I can go look back here. Seller unlocked at reputation 10. What's in my chest? This is your bedroom sleep to save your game. If you stay up too late, you'll pass out. I think it's only like 9 a.m. right now, so I think we're good. Yeah, it's just a storage chest. And uh, if you're watching this on the day that I upload it, which is Friday the 30th, I'm hoping to play... Why is it just like not going? I'm hoping to play... I'm gonna live stream a Minecraft hardcore mode and see how long I can survive. So sometime tonight, like seven or eight Eastern, depending when my kid goes to sleep, I will do that. Oh yeah, I have to put like firewood and stuff in this. Okay, what am I missing? Set up a table using your items, enter decoration mode by pressing B, select your items, blah, blah, blah. I've done that. Do I have like a inventory that I can open up? I did it. Why can't I put those there now? Does that, does that work? Those seem fine. Uh, do you just want me to like open again? Because I can do that. I don't know what I need to do to satisfy this. I put my stuff out. I don't want to do more candles. I wonder if it literally just wants me to put all of my candles out. I'm just going to serve people and make money until they, uh, until they do something else. So yeah, eventually we're going to have like four different types of alcohol on tap. And our uh, food book will have all kinds of food besides just gruel in it. Oh, I'm serving gruel six of eight. Maybe that's my next thing I have to do. Tables become dirty. Press and hold E next to it to clean it. Okay. Wipe that down for you guys. Just like continuously make sure that's nice and clean for you. <coughs> okay, that's my current quest was to serve gruel. I didn't see that I had a new quest. I just had this thing popping up here. Okay, can you guys like order more or get out? People should be sitting here too. I don't know why they're not using that table as well. But whatever. Earned seven silver so far. So I think I could kick them out if I want, but I do need to serve two more rules, so I need more people to come in. Once I've served Eight rules we can close up for the day. Yeah, I feel like the tutorial is kind of slow. Once you get into the game, there's a lot more. I guess the good thing about the gruel, this guy's coming back for seconds. So. Okay, done. You can now serve porridge and grog. Press E near the book and add the porridge to your stock inventory. near the beer tap to add a keg of grog to the slot. That. Should like clean this maybe. That's pretty good. And I 
Okay, guys, it's got dirty clothes. What is my next quest? It's report to Grog. Okay, we'll just keep it going then. So yeah, tomorrow night, somewhere around like 7 or 8 p.m. Eastern, or today if you're watching this, Friday night, I'm going to play some Minecraft Hardcore. And I figured I would just stream it. Customers requested a beer. Go next to the beer tab and press and hold E to pull a beer. And then close to the customer and serve them. Oop. I was thinking about streaming tonight, but then so many things happened and delayed me, and now it's kind of too late. So I figured I would just play this for like half an hour or an hour, and then we can go from there. Seriously, why aren't you guys using the other table? There's nothing wrong with this table. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Oh, I got sort of so much porridge and grog. Come on, guys. Can I, like, go out and buy another table? I think I might be able to. It'll let me leave right now. There's, like, a... Outside your tablet, you can find a post box, order supplies, and a delivery box, notice board to accept order requests and hire staff, and check the calendar. A well to collect water, natural resources that will allow you to craft new items and harvest fruits and vegetables. So I can order stuff here. Simply select an item to add it to your basket and shift click to add five. After ordering your items will appear in the delivery box in three hours. Okay, so we got like all of the stuff that we use to brew, we got food stuff, every five days random ingredients will be available to order mark with a star, blah blah blah. And uh, yeah, there's like decorations that, I don't know, make people pay you more stuff possibly. It ups your rating somehow. Uh, we got crafting tables, furniture, uh, decorations. Yeah, I don't know exactly. Oh, they add comfort, and then whatever comfort does, that's a thing. I should go back inside, because people probably want to eat. Yep. <laughs> Need to serve more peoples. Do that. Do that. Clean your table up. Yeah, it does get a lot more fast-paced than this. This is just the uh, tutorial. I think it's going to tell me how to make my own alcohol and stuff, and give me a still. So I want to... Remember, remember how to do that before I jump right into it. I think they changed the artwork a little bit. When I looked on, oh, I gotta pour the beer. When I looked on Steam, it looked different, and I didn't like it. But this looks fine now, so I don't know if they changed it like a second time. What do I need? I have to serve so, so much more porridge and gruel. Seriously, what's wrong with my table, guys? I'm gonna buy a table if I have the money. I have 16 silver. Let's go like buy a table and a stool if I can afford them. What do we want? Furniture. We want a uh, large table. Oof, too expensive. We gotta wait. Okay, so I'm gonna close the restaurant. Oh, this is really dirty. Let's clean that up for you guys. So this guy, and then I'm gonna close for a bit. I'm going to try and move this because I don't know why they're not sitting here. Let's see if these guys are going to order again or if they're just going to leave now. I think they can make like messes on the floor and stuff too. I'm not positive. And then when it's like nighttime, you do have to put firewood in here. One of your customers dirty the floor. Press V to highlight the dirt. Tavern vision will highlight important objects such as dirty tables and floors. Clean the floor by selecting the mob and pressing F close to the stain. Okay. I feel like I usually just like leave tavern view on all the time. Okay, so I want to move this. Let's try it over here. Let's do one stool on this side. And it doesn't let me put the stools on that side for some reason. Let's try one on this side. 
Can I do this? Okay, that snaps into the middle. Open your tower and serve near customers. Complete one quest to get upgrades. Okay, maybe it has to be up and down. It looked kind of weird on the side there. So let's open again. And uh, we still got to serve all of our porridge and grog. And we have two tables to keep clean now. How's my beer doing? I got lots. Okay, we got to serve one of those. I think you can actually pour one of the beers in advance too and just kind of hold on to it and forget. I don't know if that still works. Rewards copper axe. You can cut trees with it. Okay. Close your tavern and go outside to chop trees in order to get advanced. To advance your quest and gain new technologies. Uh, I think I want to serve some more porridge first. But these guys are only buying beer. Please buy some porridge. Did I run out of porridge? Oh, I have to put it in there. I have to put all of this. That's why they weren't ordering. I only put one porridge in my book. Oh, okay. That explains it. Unfortunately, I don't think I can take this off tap without like... Oh, I can. If I just want to serve porridge. Now everybody's going to order porridge, hopefully. Speed that up. I want to finish that before I go outside to get the wood, if I can. I mean, fine, we can just close. <laughs> we'll go get the wood. Keep the tables clean. Yeah, I kind of want to put the table back over here now. Get out. Reach a new reputation milestone. Brewing and cooking tech trees. Press T to open. Tech trees are how you learn new recipes. Each tech costs skill points, which can be earned from crafting. Skill points are split into physical, nature, and mental. Uh, so I don't have any skill points yet, but I've unlocked mild ale, it looks like. And then I've got my uh, food items here. Need more reputation before I can farm. It's fine. I think I could get stuff to make these from the, the uh, mailbox. Let's clean up this mess and then let's go chop some trees. It wants me to cut some trees down. Five trees. And then I got a scythe apparently. Uh, I still don't have enough money to buy. Is that ore? Can I make like blacksmithing stuff? Okay, I gotta hold it down the chop. Okay. Can I remove the stump? Okay, it disappears by itself. There's a lot of trees out here. I wonder how much this has changed since I last played. I don't remember this many trees, for one thing. Wood. We're gonna need that for our fireplace. Got a chestnut sprout. Apparently, I can plant that. I'm guessing. If you're really fast, you can do this while you have customers too. You just like run up and uh, chop some trees, and then run back inside and serve them. And hope that you don't miss anybody. Okay, seriously, do I not have an inventory? There we go. I used to plant a chestnut tree. I used to plant an oak tree. Sticks, wood, okay. So I do have a larger inventory than just that. Um, there's one more tree. Oh, that was it. Okay, rewards, sawmill, and copper scythe. Okay. You have obtained the first work area of the sawmill. Build it outside your tavern using decoration mode. Select the copper sickle and press F to clear weeds. Remember that you won't be able to use it if decoration mode is enabled. After building the saw mill, exit decoration mode and close it. And press E to open this crafting menu. Okay. Let's uh, cut down some weeds. I wonder if I can cut that sapling. No. Is this taking energy of any kind? It doesn't look like it. It's just time. Okay, so I can... Go into decoration mode, and then I can put this here. 
Uh, let's just put it there. Why can't I place it? Enter decoration mode by pressing B and press F to place it. I did. Where does it go? Wait, does it have to... Oh, it needs a huge area. That's crazy. Okay, let's exit that then. Never mind. Uh, so we gotta like chop down a ton of weeds. Not in decoration mode. This is kind of awkward. I have to sleep soon. I don't know if it's like midnight or when I have to sleep. Yeah, there's a fair amount of depth to this game though. I don't. It might be a little bit too slow paced to to like a let's play. But like I said, you guys can let me know if you want to see more of this. I'm sure when I get out of the tutorial, it'll be a bit better. Okay, let's try to place this now. Have to put down. Boom! That's huge. What? Okay. Each crafter has a list of items. These shall be required ingredients, fuel, and time. Click a recipe name to begin crafting. Uh, we got wooden planks. That seems like all that I can build. Let the ingredients macerate. Blacksmith table. Wooden planks, wooden poles, iron sheets. Wow, okay. So first of all, I guess we have to make this. Each recipe takes time to craft. Once the timer is full, move closer and press E to collect the items. Okay. I'm just gonna wait for this, I guess. I'm gonna go chop some more bushes down for when I have to place my next crafting station. I think it's done. I should collect every single one. Oh, I got five of them. Okay. Fabricate planks, 20. 5, 10, 15, and I got five already, so okay. Uh, do I collect the weeds? No, I just chop them and they stay forever. Gone. Okay, so I will do more than one stack without me having to manually come and collect it. It's just something different. I feel like I've played a lot of Stardew Valley, so this is just a really different way of doing things, which is nice. Not just farming. Okay, this is all done. Uh, okay, we got a pickaxe, we got a copper pick. You can use the pick to mine seeds and get metals and minerals. Remember, decoration mode must be disabled. Sure, we'll try this one. Oh, you can left click as well as hitting. Button. Oh, does it come back later? Interesting. This is not a metal, so I don't think it's going to count. Gonna grab a pocket full of stone anyways, just for fun. Just for funsies. Oh, it did count. Okay. Stone is a metal. Who knew? <laughs> uh, I think I saw one up here. Right? No? Did I imagine that when I was chopping the trees down? Is this not metal? Or mine? Oh, there it is. There's like gold or something there. Or copper. It's weird that you don't need to be a specific level. Okay, mine for metals, blah blah blah. I got a smelter, I got an anvil, I got a stump with an axe. You have obtained a smelter and the anvil. When you build a smelter, a new working area dedicated to metals will be created. This cannot overlap any other working area. Some objects can only be placed in a certain working area. The anvil can only be placed in the metal work area. Okay. So, do I have enough space to build this? Maybe there? Yes. Okay, nice. And then I can place an anvil in this area. Correct. Uh, but I can't place this here. Okay, this, this goes in the wood area. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. And uh, do you want me to use this smelter now? No, you want me to make nails. Craft 10 iron nails using the smelter and the anvil. So first of all, we are going to make some iron bars. Uh, I need fuel. Click the firewood on the left side of the crafting menu. So we'll remove one firewood from your inventory and add five fuel to the crafter. 
Click Fireword on the left side of the crafting menu. Does it mean this? Or do I not have any firewood right now? Oh. Okay, let's add some fire there. How many of these do I have to make? I need 10 nails. How many nails do I get? I get 5 nails, so I need 2 bars probably. Okay. I might pass out in a second if I don't go sleep. I want to finish these nails though. So let's grab those. Let's come here. Uh, not enough fuel. F for fuel. Okay, I don't know why an anvil requires fuel, but it does. So, uh, I need 10 of those. Okay, so we gotta fuel it even more. I can do that. Let's get those nails done. And then run to bed. <laughs> Forget about business. We gotta make nails. That's what you really need. Who needs money when you got nails? When you can just go in the forest and harvest all of the wood and ore that you need, right? Okay, we got five nails. I still haven't start I haven't served that porridge yet. I gotta do that tomorrow for sure. It's gonna warn me to go to sleep, I hope. I don't know. Okay, my quest items too. Okay, reward, workbench. Where does my workbench go? Right here. Nope, it has to go in the wood area. Or it can go here. It can go in either one. No, I don't want to rotate, just uh, stop, stop, put that down. Okay, more tables. Craft a small table using the workbench. Small table. Uh, requires wooden poles, iron, okay, we'll do that tomorrow, right? Small table, yeah, that's uh, more than a half hour kind of job, I'm thinking, so let's go to sleep before we pass out. I think you might be able to go to like 2 a.m. since it's the bar. I don't know if it's going to warn me when I hit midnight that I should be sleeping. I'm going to wait just to see what happens when midnight comes. Let's take a look. Come on. Dang it. Midnight. It's getting late. Call last orders and give your customers a chance to finish the drinks before closing up. Maybe it's like 1 o'clock then. Okay, we're going to sleep. And it's a new day. We can serve our porridge. Uh, select a save to override or create a new one. Please keep multiple saves during early access. Okay. So I can only save when I sleep. Uh, should I call that a day then? I don't know. Yeah, I think that'll give you guys kind of like a good before opening. Consider stocking up. You'll need more logs for crafting in the fireplace. Visit the post box. Blah, blah, blah. So yeah, this is a traveler's rest. So you serve the beer and the food. You come out here. You do a lot of crafting. This crafting stuff didn't exist last time I played. I wonder if that fuel stays in there. Yeah, the fuel doesn't like die down. It just stays in there. So you could stock up tons of wood all at once. But yeah, if you want to see more of this game, let me know. And we can make it into a series if it gets enough likes and views and people asking for it. Uh, but otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video.